Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, Ashen Kim Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Today we have another mid shielding video of the AMD Adrenaline 20.8.3 drivers. And well, remember in the previous uh, driver videos that I made, uh, my review, my experience on the, the drivers, I told you that overall I did not found, I did, I did not find, <laughs> overall I did not find any driver version past 20.4.2 that was stable in all systems, in all my systems, my systems. But well, that changes today. Well, won't, just let me take these glasses off. So as always, 20 for the year, 8 the month, August, and 3 the revision in that month. So it's the third driver in August. As for the release notes, we have several things like uh, support for new games like Marvel Avengers, uh, even Fortnite that has a, a 12 up to 12% boost with the RX 5700 XT with epic settings using the X12, which is always nice, P free performance is always nice, at least in my opinion. The X11 was still, uh, was still faster than the X12 on this card, so that uh, this new update may change things. Who knows? We also have Headed Vulcan features, which is always nice, and we have a lot of fixes, for example, for the new game Mortal Shell, between many others. Although, yeah, it still doesn't say a single thing about FreeSync. As you know, every driver past 20.4.2 for me on my RX 5700 XT on my monitor, so it is kind of a monitor plus driver plus GPU. Um, combo that makes FreeSync work or not in these new drivers. It's a crap, but it is what it is. But after 20.4.2, which were the recommended drivers, I did not have any single driver that worked perfectly with FreeSync on my monitor. But well, even with it not saying, uh, even with the driver not saying anything about FreeSync, FreeSync uh, fixes on the release notes, my FreeSync is finally working wonderfully. Finally working wonderfully in a driver past 20.4.2. And well, as for my other build with the i5 10400F and the RX 5600 XT, things are also working perfectly fine. So it is working on my RX 5700 XT, no crashes, no blue screens, no black screens, no system hangouts, nothing working perfectly and the same for my RX 5600 XT system. One thing though is that uh, I even installed Windows again because I wanted to just that uh, on this on the system. I did that and actually uh, when I installed the 20.8.3 sorry at the beginning so a fresh Windows install with a fresh driver installation it kind of gave me blue screens and and some system hangouts and I was like man Maybe the 20.8.3 is not stable on this system, only on mine uh, and in my brother, my brother's one, but I don't know, drivers are kind of messy, so it's really hard to know the reason. But then I thought, well, it may be Windows doing its shit, so let's try again. So I updated Windows once again, because I was already installing the, the 2004 version as a base. Uh, I updated Windows, I disabled game mode, a thing that I always do. I disabled Windows game mode, um, I installed 20.4.2 and things were perfectly stable. And once again I thought, maybe that's the driver. Uh, then I clean installed 20.4.2, installed 20.8.3, running currently now, as you see, and the system was rock stable, rock solid. So, yeah, I guess it's Windows 10 doing its shit again. So. Drivers are stable on my build, 
on this build which is also mine and on my brother's build so in my opinion 20.8.3 are the best drivers after the 20.4.2 this to me this is only my opinion this is only my experience but your experience may differ obviously so yeah overall it seems that we have FreeSync fixed we have stability and we have a bit more performance at least on the rx 5000 series which is always nice which is always nice so stability performance and overall everything's working really the recording feature uh, overclocking the overclock settings stick uh, they do not reset after a reboot so I think everything is fine and I do think that this driver is the best one till 20.4.2 and maybe AMD can put it as recommended soon who knows thanks a lot for watching don't forget hit like subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot uh, and let's now go to, as always, let's now go to a small comparison between the 20.4.2 driver versus the 20.8.3, so the current uh, recommended versus the new optional to see, to see how things go on my RX 5700 XT. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here?